Good afternoon. Time to wrap up our trading for February the 9th, 2017. And we'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we came in today on the E-mini. We had no interest in the sell side. We really have had a lot of interest in the sell side since November the 9th based on Trump's proposed tax and industrial policy changes. Um, we came in, we hoped to buy the uh, 92 area, uh, 90, excuse me, the 89, 91 area, the lowest 91, 50, we had to raise that up to 95. And we, you were paying 94s, 95s to get long. And the trades worked as advertised. They took a long time to develop. But the charts did develop. And the trades did develop from the charts as advertised. Retest failure. That was your 91.50. Buy ever so slowly, ever so slowly. Then when we get to 2300, right up here, the buying accelerates. So we had great volatility. Uh, we said as long as the market stays above 2300, it was going to trade higher. Uh, my guess was before lunch. We took our lunch break uh, that we would see even higher highs into today's close. There, there is no selling out there. Uh, 50 lot traders long to the tune of 11,000 plus. The broad market is even longer. And they're long to the tune of 42,055. So just strong buying. And uh, the thing that kicked us off today, Trump came out and said in two to three weeks he'll be making major um, announcements, executive orders, announcements, proposals uh, on taxes and business rules and regulations that you would like, quote unquote. So every um, day he is fulfilling some of his campaign promises. Remember, he made a big point of saying, I have not lied to you. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Um, and he is doing it in spite of opposition from everybody, including his own party. And that's pretty refreshing in a politician to seem to actually do or try to do what they say they're going to do. Most of them don't. F1 screen, higher low, higher high. Uh, no selling here. And I mean, you just see it behind it. P, put that together, a P, and move out of the middle, another move out of the middle, another P, and we break it out today. Finally, been a long time coming as we've motored sideways. And right here we are now, 15 points, 93 to 2308. We talked about that on the update after lunch. 2308 was a reasonable target that would give us a 15 handle trading range for today. Uh, I'm guessing that best resistance is in the uh, 2335 area. Um, but as it stands right now, if the market were to close right now, we could sell failure to take out 8 to 10. And in a strong market like this, um, one of the tricks the uh, professional trading community would use is open it weak, take the weak longs out, and turn around and take it higher. And then our next sell zone would be 14 to 16. Not really interested in the sell side of the market. We don't have news tomorrow that's going to change things. We have import, export prices, uh, up two tenths for import prices, export up a tenth, consumer sentiment 98.5 can come in higher than forecast, my guess is it will, and then Baker Hughes rig count was 1072 last update, my guess is it will be higher. Uh, the market's news focus will be Trump 
and he meets with Abi this weekend. And was it Maro La Maro Lago or where it is? Consumer sentiment will be the um, economic news that they'll look at. And Abi is coming over here with a proposal to invest four hundred and fifty billion dollars in our economy and create 700,000 jobs. That's a pretty big commitment. And it's more of the Trump effect. You know, Trump doesn't have to put up border taxes. He doesn't have to do anything. All he has to do is cut taxes and get rules and regulations down. Everybody wants to do something in the United States. It's the world's biggest market. Uh, our energy cost differential is immense, two to four times better than any other place in the world except for the Middle East. But who's going to build major factories in the Middle East? Uh, that's fraught with risk and danger. It's right up there with uh, building stuff in Russia. Um, so the Trump effect is happening. Uh, right now, last rotate down stopped at three. So there's 2300, 2303 would be buy one. And then 97, 95 would be buy two. Not really interested in the short side of the market. If you're going to be short, come into it being being nimble. But you can just feel optimism is back. I mean, you see it in all different reports that um, the willing to make a bet on the future and take risk is increasing. And ultimately, the... Um, economy is a state of mind and that state of mind is shifting positive right now and I mean you, you can feel it it's palpable everywhere you go you hear it in the conversation everybody the stress the anxiety is greatly diminished okay looking at the 10-year lower high lower low F1 says we can sell tomorrow now tomorrow is a post auction day market's been hit pretty hard over the last two days so I'm anticipating a pause day with a lower bias so what I would like to see is that we sell in London we come down we've got an X Y Z tail and that would give me some uh, encouragement that the uh, bottom might be in right now 31 to 03 is sell one 7 to 11, sell 2. On the buy side, um, got a high volume number at 26, so we'll make 24, 28, buy 1, 17 to 21, buy 2. I didn't see how the snowstorm did today. I haven't really followed the news. Um, I know it didn't get to Washington, D.C. It went north of them. Lucy, Charlie's brother, is greatly disappointed. Noofs love the snow. Right up there with water. But they were calling for a foot of snow in some places in the northeast. So you guys got a foot at least, right, Dane? Okay, looking at the bond, I'm going to scroll up here a little bit. Last time I fell on my rear end and had my feet come up above my head was in New Hampshire, Manchester, New Hampshire, of all places. I was up there visiting a friend, and um, I was in a parking lot, and I think it was in February, and had accumulated snow. Most of it had turned to ice on the freeze-thaw, freeze-thaw, freeze-thaw. And wow, I dumped. Okay, um, 8 to 12 is number 1. 15 to 19, sell 1. 27 to 31, sell 2. I'm really looking for a pause day, lower tonight, if I'm buyers tomorrow. 28 to the buck, number 1. 21.25 by 1. 
9 to 13 by 2. Okay, gold, another strong day up. It came off off the Trump com com comments about two to three weeks. going to be announcing major uh, changes in taxes and um, industrial policy. Sell gold. Inside day for gold today. Uh, we hit our sell and buy levels uh, very, very well early in the session and then sold later in the session. So. Right off the bat, a long produced money. Our short sell was 43 to 45. You had a chance to pull that off. Double distribution down. That was Trump's announcement right there in B period. And we're poised to break. So again, this 25, 27 area, I think it's probably pretty key support. Right now it looks like we're going to head a little lower. So buy one will be 31 to 29. I'm sure Trump will and the administration will be hit with more bad news in tonight's news cycle. They're going to get attacked on every side. And Republican establishment is not going to be a hell of a lot of help either. Okay, 35, 37, sell 1. 40, 42, sell 2. And isn't it amazing to see all these politicians from the right get elected on all these promises of what they're going to do when they get to D.C.? They get to D.C., Matt, we can't do it, and right now there's nothing stopping them. They can do anything they promise the people, anything they want, and they're backing away from it. Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Did they go up there to change or move things around, or did they get to get their spot at the trough? And my guess is, is that a lot of people that go to D.C. these days go to get rich. And that's just human nature. Can't really blame them. We had a hell of, uh, another really good day in uh, crude oil. 50, 150, 52 is the buy zone. Uh, 54, 54, 50 is the sell zone. We're at Frank G's number, 5301. And you can see that we have a fairly strong P behind us. Higher, low, higher, high, we can trade higher tomorrow, as far as crude is concerned. have several P's working behind us, don't we? So structurally, it's easier for this market to trade higher. Probably the cleanest break in the markets up here in this 53.50 area. Number that Blue pointed out yesterday for us. Had the spill from 60, 53.60. Then we had pretty good selling above 54. Uh, so here we sit, pointed higher. So 53 and a quarter, 53.50, sell one. 375, 54, sell 2. Market is pointed up on the buy side. 52.50, 52.75, buy 1. 52 even, 52 and a quarter, buy 2. And it may take a 53 Frank's number to get long. We'll have to see. Fundamentals say we should be lower, but that's why they're called funny mentals. It's just you have to, again, you, you do have to trade what you see, not what you believe. Uh, that's the, your only salvation out there. Doesn't matter how strong, how much homework you've done, and how much studying you've done, the market isn't doing what you think it should do. Be careful. Okay, the euro on inside day. We can trade both ways tomorrow. Definitely a B. We've got support down here at 106.50. We 
stops below 50, so 106.50 by 1. 106 and a quarter by 2. I don't know if Trump has any news announcements or executive orders to sign tomorrow. Last rotate up stopped at 81. So 75 to 85, sell 1. 107 even, sell 2. I imagine he'll announce something for the weekend, though. If I were in his shoes, I would do the same thing. Keep it going. And that's it for this February the 9th, 2017. Melissa's out of town. There will not be any trade recaps today nor tomorrow. She'll be back on Monday. So she has to docker those things up and clean, up, clean me up as best she can. I'll see you all bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening. And we'll see if we can't shake that money tree again tomorrow.